So welcome back to my channel. This is Dom and a continuation of my Cleveburg Confederacy of the Rhine project. Um, I've started to build up all the Perry figures. So reminder, I was using the Perry uh, box set of plastic models, the uh, here, Napoleonic uh, French Napoleonic Infantry Battalion, 1807 to 1814. 44 figures and I've supplemented that with um, some uh, various figures from uh, offensive miniatures. So it should give me a good starting point uh, for this project. Um, also, I spent a lot of time, and I mean a lot of time, doing research on this um, and I'm continuing to do more. Um, some really helpful stuff came in through some of my subs really thank you so much for those who have um particularly uh one subscriber clive um clive tablet was his username um really appreciated his input he's obviously doing or oh, has done a very similar project um and he gave me a lot of steers on on just in his comments around things little things like uh, the pom poms on the on the shakos for this uh, for the Berg army, they generally um, had um, just little pom poms. Apart from the um, third battalion, our third regiment, which apparently had long plum uh, plums, long <laughs> plumes. I've just realised I've left one, and I've been doing exactly this. I've been snipping off the extra bits of plumes just to make them rounded um he also recommended a a good book on um the organization of the army which i've ordered and hopefully will be coming soon uh, and i literally have sat down and started to plan out and i never plan out anything uh, anybody who knows me is i just sort of back of the fag packet is is my uh, kind of planning and uh, yet for this i've actually started a spreadsheet i've started to plan out the units so anyway, op shit, op shit, op shop of all this is I have decided that that doing just a few battalions isn't enough. Um, I'm going for the whole brigade. So um, rather handily, as I think I described in the first video, uh, in 1812, the majority of the Berg army was brigaded together. Um, so... All four infantry battalion, all four infantry regiments, um, plus their artillery, were brigaded together in one big brigade. Now, uh, each each uh, regiment had two battalions, but I think it was the third battalion or third regiment, sorry, didn't have its one of its battalions with it. Um, it was still fighting in in Spain, so that's what two, four, so seven battalions of. A French foot I need to produce to do that brigade which I think is a manageable project uh, plus the artillery uh, foot artillery was six pounders as were the horse artillery six pounders um, question mark and I still need to do some research and maybe anybody watching this can help with me um, is whether the horse artillery was uh, brigaded with the infantry brigade or whether it went with the cavalry, because the cavalry, the lancers, well, the second regiment of lancers, was brigaded with a um, Hess um, a cavalry unit in a separate light cavalry brigade. Um, so I'm going to do that too. So my plan at the end of this is to have the Berg uh, infantry brigade uh, with artillery um, and to have the... Um, the Lancers brigaded with their Hessian um, uh, comrades in the cavalry brigade that they were in. That's the starting point. And then I may just add a few more. Uh, there's a few more German troops that were brigaded uh, with this Her uh, Berg brigade during 1812 that formed uh, one of the divisions in the 9th Corps under, under Victor. Um, so I may just do that one as well. We'll see. We'll see. I'm not going to go the whole way to a core. That's for damn sure. Not in 28 mil anyway. Because when am I ever going to need to field a core? Famous last words. So, upshot. It's a long and rambling. And I wasn't meaning this to be long and rambling. Um, 
so I've decided on what period I'm doing. It's 1812, so that makes it easier in terms of uniforms and style of uniforms. And as I said before, actually one of the good things about this, by pure chance, the Berg troops didn't change hugely the uniforms, and actually the difference between the regiments is marginal. It's just literally um, you know, a little bit of extra colour in certain areas, um, which I'm not even sure I'm capable of painting anyway. So <laughs> we'll see uh, well, how much of that I do. So the next thing I did was actually start to work out my battalion structures. Uh, sorry, next thing I decided was um, I've decided I'm going to do everything for black powder uh, because I think that's the most likely system that I'm going to play it with. My rationale is that even if I brigade or make them for, for black powder, I can use them for other things. Now, nobody at my club is particularly precious about multi-based figures playing skirmishy type games. So I can still use them for sharp practice. And it just means I can I, I can base them on uh, these sort of 4 by 4 um, MDF uh, bases. And I know that they'll, you know, they'll have a uniformity, which is what I want. So having decided I'm going to do black powder, um, the beauty of black powder is you can do 24-man regiments. A standard battalion in, in black powder uh, is 24 figures, uh, which actually also happens to be the sort of size of a standard um, formation in sharp practice. So again, I have the ability to fluctuate between the two, and that's always been my goal with this project. So 24-man battalions... Um, I'm going to um, mould or basically build them um, relatively historically accurate. So you can see here, uh, this is the first battalion laid out here uh, on, the, on the workbench. Um, you can see here I've done the Grenadier Company. Uh, so in keeping with most um, French, so obviously the, the, the Berg troops followed the French model. Uh, in terms of organisation, and that was largely six companies um, per battalion. One company of grenadiers, one company of volticers, and the rest fusiliers. Although, you know, whether volticers were called volticers or chasseurs is, is a mute point, but whatever. So uh, if you divide your 24 figures uh, by six, you get four figures per company, which is quite handy. So um, this is going to be my grenadier company. Uh, for this first battalion. Uh, they are just the Perry models. I've just used the bear skins on top. Um, and yeah, so that's the first four. Then um, for the for the Chasseur stroke Volticas, it doesn't matter so much because the only real difference for them, there's some, again, I don't want to upset uh, those who really know about it, but there are some little tiny uh, differences. But basically it's um, the fact they have green um, pom-poms and uh, green epaulets, um, I believe, to denote the Volticas. So a couple of these will become Volticas, and the rest are going to be Fusiliers. Um, I've also put in uh, the Sapper, or Pioneer, that every uh, every battalion had um, a group of them. So he's in there. Um, the rest of them are... Let's say a mixture of Perry's and some of the offensive miniatures. This guy's an offensive miniatures because they mix in really nicely. Um, so that's done. That's my 24 figures. Uh, say four of them are going to be grenadiers, four of them are going to be Voltigas, stroke chasseurs, the rest are going to be fusiliers. I've got uh, one guy with a halberd, one drummer, and one standard bearer, and one uh, pioneer. Oh, and one officer per battalion, so that's cool. Um, and the rest are just straightforward musketeers. So that's all done. Uh, I've also got, this is going to be one of the um, junior officers. Um, just made him up from the kit. Um, he's going to be, yeah, just a, just a, just an officer to back them up, which is what I need. My colonels and uh, higher-ranking officers are all going to be mounted on horses. So I've already made a start on painting. Um, you can see here, hopefully, get my hand out of the way. Um, fairly rough and ready at this stage. Uh, obviously, everything has been base spray painted with the uh, Halfords light grey uh, 
uh, primer that I like to use, spray can. A uh, bit of a bummer at the moment with the weather, but because uh, it's peeing it down with rain. Uh, but they've all been spray coated with that. And then for the guys that uh, I've done so far, um, I've just taken out, used the um, Apothecary White Contrast Paint. Just slop that all over where the uniform is white. Um, doesn't really show up terribly well against the grey, but it just adds something more. And then I've used, whoops, yeah, he said dropping it. I've used Citadel Layer White Scar, um, just a heavily, sort of a heavy dry brush, if you see what I mean, all over the figure. Uh, where the, um, well, I mean, I haven't been too precious because obviously the, the turn back in the middle here is going to be light blue, um, but I've just slapped the white all over um, the first eight. And I'm doing it in groups of eight because that gives me three lots to make my 24 man battalion, so it's all good. Uh, I've also done the base coat um, on the flesh. Talked about this before, my sort of go to now for flesh painting is using this scale color pale skin uh, as a base and then I use um, another contrast um, dark oath flesh as a, a sort of heavy over the top of that pale. I find the two go really well together um, and give you that sort of definition and depth in the in the skin tone that I'm looking for. Uh, so obviously at the moment I've only done the base coat uh, and only done the base coat whites. So yeah, that's where we are so far. I'll be back with a little bit more of an update for you in a few seconds. Okay, so a bit of a progress update um, with these uh, Berg troops. Um, so yeah, can I honestly say I've slightly underestimated the faff of doing um, a large number of Napoleonic troops, but we're getting there. I've done uh well the first two companies for the first regiment or first battalion of the first regiment uh these are the fusiliers um all in marching pose obviously i've varied the um shakos a couple of them had um obviously shako covers on so i've put a couple in white and a couple of brown just because they seem to mix them a fair bit um and I'm reasonably happy how these have come out so far. <clears throat> just sort of followed them through just to finish them off entirely, just to see what the after effect was. Um, yeah, they're all right. They're okay. They'll do fine. Uh, three, the old three foot rule, they will be fine. Um, so that's the first two companies of um, regular fusiliers. Uh, making progress with the flank company. They're the ones I'm doing next. So there's the uh, well, the company of grenadiers who are going to have um, obviously bearskins. And here's the uh, Voltigers. So yeah, the, the base colour is done. So as I said before, I think... Um, They've been obviously spray painted, um, primed with um, uh, uh, the Halfords light grey primer that I use, spray can. Then I've used the um, uh, apoth apothecary white uh, contrast paint over there. And then I have literally just dry brushed, well, heavy dry brushed with the Citadel layer white scar paint over the, uh, the grey. And then used uh, this game color electric blue for the uh, facing, the collars, and the cuffs, and the turnbacks. Um, in fact, I forgot. Oh no, because I'm not going to do the bobbles. Bobbles on these for the Volticas will be uh, green, and for the um, Grenadiers will be red. Um, on the Fusiliers, they have light blue um tassels on there if they've got this if they've got the um um swords sword bennet things uh they'll have light blue on the fusiliers on the grenadiers it's green and on the gren uh, sorry on the grenadiers it's red and on the volticas chasseurs it's green um 
and the plumes are green and red respectively so that'll be next um yeah so they're coming together well i've also made start on one of the junior officers um just basically following the same scheme um because i've got the cavalry i've got the mounted officers who will be the main guys but um certainly for sharp practice it's useful to have a few of the um, sort of junior officers that will probably be level ones just to provide that uh, ability to take morale uh, to take shock off units so i'm doing him at the same time so yeah it's all right we're doing okay um grenadiers and light infantry next and then we'll finish off with the the remaining two companies of center troops which include the uh, uh pioneer the officer and the standard bear and the drummer. The drummer will be um, will be black uniform because they apparently the drummers were black with um, the facing the same colour as the rele as the relevant rele regiment. I uh, can't speak. So that will be further down the line. So we'll be back when that's progressed. Back in a minute for you. And there we have it. There is my first battalion of Cleveburg. Confederate Infantry. This is going to be the 1st Battalion, 1st Regiment. Um, as I said, I'm now going to be doing 7 battalions. So this is the first of 7. Um, and they went okay, actually. Um, not too bad. I sort of got my head around how to do the white, simply. Uh, in the end, I dropped the uh, contrast apothecary stage. I found that just... Um, sort of heavily dry brushing with something like this Corax white um, and a bit of the the white scar gave me enough colour without swamping the grey that was underneath so I could keep some of the highlights there and then I used um, just a dark wash over the top and then normally with my figures, once I've spray painted everything and got them all finished off, I'll um, dry brush with um, Iraqi desert sand. Uh, this time I used uh, white, uh, very, very fine white. And that again just helped to emphasize and bring back out the white color, I think, without dulling down everything else. Um, I'm quite pleased with the effect. I mean, they're, they're not going to win any painting competitions. But again, the the, the wargaming three foot rule they'll be absolutely fine. Um, I've basically done it as I as I said before. Each square of four is a company. So there's the grenadier company there, the Voltiger company here. Uh, uh, grenadiers have all got bear skins, um, and the Voltigers have got the green epaulets and green pom poms. Uh, any pom-poms that were a little bit longer than, than the round short ones I chopped off um, and just kept them as the little stubby, um, uh, little tiny pom-poms and I think that is in keeping with my understanding of how the regiment uh, looked. Uh, flag is from a guy uh, on Interweb on eBay who does all sorts of uh, flags, um, which is great. Um, and, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty happy. Uh, they've got this... Um, Pioneer here at the front, he wore the sort of grenadier uniform, uh, there's the um, company or battalion commander there, drummer boy, drummer is wearing all black, uh, well all black on the top half, that's what their uniform was apparently, um, they wore black with the light blue facings and then white trousers, so that's what he's got, he's got the drum on his back. And the drum apparently was, um, well, they call it um, sort of yellow metal. So I've used a gold colour. Um, and I think it comes out quite well. So anyway, first battalion done. Quite pleased with that. Went pretty well. So much so, I've ordered a whole load more Perry figures. Because I'm already working my way through the second battalion. Um, and as I say, I've now decided I want to do a whole company. Uh, a whole, sorry, a whole brigade. Um, so... Um, that's that. Oh, also forgot the officer. Uh, this is going to be, for sharp practice, it'll be one of the junior officers that you have uh, alongside your regiment. Um, again, just kept fairly standard. The, the, the officers in the Berg army tended to have a lot of gold trim. 
uh, had gold edging around their around their, their around their hats um, and gold epaulets, which is what I've done with him. Uh, again, quite happy how it came out. The only thing was I wasn't sure that there, there was no um, on the figure uh, because it's a French figure. There's no sort of uh, turn back at the front, um, so I don't know. I don't know what you call that, that sort of uh, that sort of bib area that, that all the infantry have that's light blue. So I couldn't do any light blue on the front, but I think he's I think he works out fine as he is. So anyway, there you go. All done, first first battalion. Onwards and upwards. I'll keep you abreast of how the project's going. And I hope your projects are going well too. Uh, I hope you're staying well, help you staying safe, and um, yeah, hope you're getting some gaming in. This is Dom. Signing out. Mm -hmm.